Thinking problem 5. Determine the points of intersection for the graph y equals to 2 times 3 to the power of x and y equals to 6 times 2 to the power of x. Round your answer to one decimal place. Okay, so when we say point of intersection, that means the y values will be same for both these graphs at that point, right? So x and y values have to be same. That is what it is. So let's equate both their y values. So we get 2 times 3, 3 to the power of x should be equal to 6 times 2 to the power of x, correct? Okay? So that is how we can start solving this problem, right? Now, you can divide 6 by 2 and you get 3 to the power of x equals to 3 times 2 to the power of x, correct? And now, this is a critical stage. Let's divide by 3. So what do you get? 3 to the power of x divided by 3 is equals to 2 to the power of x, correct? Now this is 3 to the power of x divided by 3 can be written as 3 to the power of x minus 1 which is equal to 2 to the power of x, correct? So that is how we can write them as exponents, right? And now, to solve for x, what we should do is, we should take log on both sides, right? So if we take log on both sides, what do we get? So we get log of 3 to the power of x minus 1 equals to log of 2 to the power of x. And we are taking log to the base 10 so that we can use our calculator and figure out the answer to one decimal place as required, right? Now here we can apply the power rule and so we get x minus 1 times log of 3 equals to x times log of 2, correct? Now, now we can take we can expand this and bring log x together and form an equation, correct? So, it could be written as x log 3 minus of log 3 and I will write minus x log 2 equals to 0, correct? Now, we can combine the x terms together so we get x of log 3 minus log 2 we are combining these two terms together right so we're combining these two terms together and at this stage I'm taking log 3 to the right side that is a constant right log of 3 right and therefore I can get x is equals to log 3 divided by log of 3 minus log of 2, right? You can, even I can write 3 divided by 2 as 1.5. I can do that also, correct? So anyway, so let me just write log 3 minus log 2. Now we can use the calculator and calculate the answer, correct? So we'll do log 3 divided by, in the bracket, log of 3 minus log of 2 bracket close equals to 2.709 right so round your answer to one decimal place so we can write this as x is equals to approximately 2.7 correct so that is our solution for the given problem and that is our answer okay so that is how we are going to do this problem thank you